Hello there, this is Stephen from EDR Modesso with a short tip and trick showing you how to create a moving monitor point in ANSYS Fluent. Now this is obviously very useful if you're conducting dynamic mesh simulations and in this example here I've got a, a simple 2D domain with a moving object and I'll just display the zone motion there. So this object's just going to move around in a circular fashion. Um, in these type of simulations, quite often you might like to position a monitoring point at a certain location. So for example, in the wake of a moving object to monitor things like pressure, velocity, turbulence, and so on. And you want that monitor point to stay in the same relative location, i.e. track the moving object. And previously this was something that uh, had to be scripted up, but uh, there's a function in Fluent which lets you set this up um, very, very quickly and very easily. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to the outline view here and under reference frames, I can right click and create a new reference frame. Okay, you can set your own name uh, should you wish to. And I'm going to select this option here, track by zone. Uh, this gives me a drop down box here and uh, you can either track by a moving fluid zone or in my case, I've got a dynamic mesh object. So I'm going to select object dynamic mesh okay and that's all i need to do i can just click okay there and i've got my reference frame the next thing i'm going to do is to create a uh, surface so well, you can do this from the results uh, tab or or the domain tab depending where you are so i'll create a point okay and uh, you get to select your reference frame so i'm going to choose the one that i just created and i'm going to uh, use the graphics here to manually position this point. So in the, the wake of the object there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Click create. Next, I'm going to uh, create a report definition. Um, so surface report, uh, let's say vertex average. Uh, and let's say, for example, I'm interested in uh, monitoring the uh, turbulence in the uh, the wake of uh, this moving object so i just set the field variable pick the point and i'll plot that uh, we won't report the file okay so the simulation's ready to go now but before i uh, before i run that i'm just going to set up um, an animation so you can actually see the point moving so first of all i'll just uh, edit the mesh object so i've got that point displayed Okay, hopefully if I zoom in a little bit, you can see the, uh, the point that I've created there in the wake of the object. And uh, I'm going to set up, after I've initialized, I'm going to create an animation. Okay, so I'm going to choose Mesh 1, uh, store it to memory. I'm going to use the active view, just preview that to check. Okay. And now I'm, uh, I'm ready to run the simulation. So I'm just going to run it for, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 75 time steps, I think is all we need. So I'm going to hit the calculate button. Now I've got an animation here, which is showing the uh, TKE, which is coming off the object. I've also got my report plot here. And if I look at the mesh animation, uh, you can see as the object is moving, the point that I created is very nicely tracking that object and remaining uh, in the same relative position, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so we'll let that run for another perhaps 15 time steps or so, and then we'll just quickly look at the animations uh, to see what we've got. Okay, so just to uh, replay the animations then head over to results uh, solution put playback this is just the uh, uh, the turbulence animation that i created so you can see it building up in the wake and the second animation there is the one just showing you that the point is is tracking the object so um a really useful bit of functionality for dynamic mesh simulations uh, and it makes the setup of this uh, uh, monitoring point that tracks objects uh, really really easy um, and uh, it's something that I use a lot in dynamic mesh simulations 
Uh, I do hope that you find this functionality useful in your work. So thanks for watching this video and bye for now.